Guys, I couldn't fit everything in my first video. I'm back with an all new set of challenges for this Excel Obstacle Course 2. Just like the first one, I'll go step by step through each of the obstacles, show you how to complete them, as well as give hints on shortcuts and Excel in general. Now, I've trained thousands of people on these shortcuts, just like I said in my first video. And time and time again, they've proven to make you faster and more accurate at your job at Excel, make you less mentally exhausted at the end of the day, and to actually have some fun at work. So I've been using Excel for about 20 years. I've been teaching Excel for about 15. This training is one of a kind. There are a lot of Excel learning methods out there, but there are none like this one. So watch, listen, and learn as we take this journey together on the Excel Obstacle Course 2. So now that we've downloaded our Excel Obstacle Course number 2, we have the X timer, which we may or may not be familiar with. Basically, if you type an X here, it starts a timer. Type an X here, it stops a timer. The background here, it goes from green to red, depending on what time you get. It's very important when you have this open that you don't have anything open behind it. And if you've opened it in front of something else, that you close all your spreadsheets and that this one is the first one that you open. The reason is the timer just doesn't work right if you don't do that. Second thing, of course, when you, when you close this when you're done, you don't want to save it. The reason for that is that you won't have everything pop up fresh when you want to do it again. So let's get started. Type in an X, hit enter. That puts my cursor in the red box for when I have to come back and hit X again. Using control page down to advance sheets. You might have learned that from my first Excel obstacle course, but page down goes left to right, page up goes right to left. So this is a cut and insert challenge. What you're trying to do is configure these columns to look like this. So we have our hints, control space bar to highlight entire column, control X to cut, control plus sign to insert. It's a little bit tricky. So if I cut this entire column and I want to put this before E, I actually want to be on column E. And there we go. And then the rest of this comes completed just by taking this solid green, moving it to the very end. I want to put it after column F, so I'm going to put it here. Control plus sign to insert. And there we go. We've made this look exactly like the picture. So to advance again, control page down. Same thing except with rows. So to highlight a row, shift spacebar. Control X to cut. I want it to be above this solid gold. So I'm going to put my cursor on the solid gold uh, bar. And insert it like that. Same with the green, similar exercise. And again, I'm holding down control and arrow to be a little more efficient. Practice that in the first obstacle course. And there we go, we've completed the second obstacle. This is a puzzle. I call it the heart puzzle because I have heart icons in each of these red blocks and we have nothing in the tan. So we can simply jump from heart to heart here. First thing I'll do is hold down shift, go down and over to highlight all these hearts. Control X. And then since I want to go on top of this segment of hearts, I'll put my cursor right here on top of it. Control plus sign. Again, if you want to get fancy, control tap down to warp. And then you can either use control A or control shift down, control X. And here, if we paste it, notice that we have a gap, right? Which is the whole spirit of this. If we have data down here that we don't want to disrupt, we want to insert it. So that's a control plus sign. That's the difference between the two. This is control A. The cursor is in the middle of it to where you can just hit control A. But note that if you're somewhere else, like right here, it doesn't necessarily select everything. That's how control A works. If I'm in this corner, for example, it highlights the entire page. Or there. So the idea is to get used to putting your cursor in the 
place where it might grab everything. So control A, control C, and then paste this control V. Since I want it to be in this box here with the dotted line, I'm going to put my cursor in H1 and hit control V. Now this is for deleting whole sheets. Once you delete them, you can't recover them with undo, which is something you want to note. So if you do this in error, you actually do have to pull up the obstacle course again. Just don't save it. Because you'll be stuck with it and have to re-download. Or you'll do what I do. I keep two versions of this in my folder for Excel Obstacle Courses. One says Excel Obstacle Course 2. One says Excel Obstacle Course Backup 2. So delete an entire sheet. It's in sequence. Alt H D S. And I'll get a window. I'm going to use my mouse. Sorry to move this over. They ask you if you're sure you want to do this. So it's enter. And then quickly done. It looks like this. Alt H D S enter. This one's for find and replace. Now if we do Control F, you might be accustomed to that. It's going to put you on the find screen. So that's going to be fine if you want to find all these, hitting escape to get out of that. But control H is the find and replace. So that's going to ask you what you want to find, capital Z, tab, replace with A. And then as you can see here, I'm going to use the mouse again, sorry. <laughs> this A is underlined, right? So that means if I do Alt A, it's going to hit that button. It's like this one is a R underlined. If I want to replace, it's just going to replace one by one. So I don't want Alt R. As you can see there, it's just going one by one. So it's Alt A. And this pop up window here tells me I did everything. So I hit Enter. And then you can hit Escape. Another way to get rid of the box is Alt Space C. That works for any open window in Windows. Is formatting so we want this red background to be in all these cells but we don't want to paste a everywhere we just want zoom in is control alt plus sign by the way control alt minus sign to zoom out so more reason not to touch the mouse so to complete this, I'm just going to hit control C. That's going to copy both the contents and the formatting. I'm going to hit control A. To highlight this entire group of data. And there's two ways you can do this. I'm getting used to doing Alt EST. Enter. You see everything has that background, the funky red background. Now another way you could do it is what I've custom to, I think, before they had the, this kind of shortcut, is the right click button. So it's usually down here uh, programmed. Uh, I have mine up here on the Keychron. So this does the same as right clicking on the mouse. So you don't have to touch the mouse. And then SR pastes formatting. So the two ways you can do it. How many times a day do we auto filter? I used to do Alt D F F for that. Then somebody wised me in on Control Shift, one finger. Oh, for list. And there we go. We've got our auto filters on there. Now if I hold down Alt and press the down arrow when I'm on, on top of this, it brings up my menu. And I can just arrow down there. When you do spacebar, it's going to select or deselect. I'm just going to go to blue, select that, and hit enter. And there we go. This is for removing duplicates. We hold down one finger, control shift, hit the down arrow. That's one way to highlight this group. Another way, control A. Either way is fine. So Alt A M is to pull up the remove duplicates window. And then you have to tab over twice. Hit enter again. There it tells us four duplicate values were found and removed, six remain. We can jump over here, control arrow, all HM, tab, tab, enter. Same thing. Go over one more, all AM, tab, tab, enter. And we've removed those duplicates. 
And then again, control page down and we get to the very end page, which tells us we have to go back by holding down control and page up. If I just hit, if I hold down control and hold down page up, it takes me all the way back to the timer. So I can hit an X and get my time of 10 minutes. If you can do it and improve your time and get a personal record, that's awesome. But my personal record is always one minute. I actually did this one in less than 45 seconds if you look at my TikTok videos. So there you go. To download these, go to my stand store, look for the Excel Obstacle Course 2, and that's where you can download. Thank you very much.